I was traveling through the Malian desert from Timbuktu to Bamako with two friends in an open on the top truck loaded up with tons of crop bags and about 40 other people, when the truck got stuck in the sand. After about 10 hours of trying to unstuck it, we got invited in a peel village one mile down in the desert where people offered us food and water. A couple hours later another truck, the kind of open in the back truck you more commonly see in western countries, comes and is stopped by our driver. I and five other people really had to be in Bamako in the next few days, we had a plane to catch, another guy, and his girlfriend, was in the military and had to get back to work, and the last one was deaf and mute so I didn't quite catch what his obligations were, so our driver arranges for this other truck to carry us up to the asphalt road a couple hundred miles further. We climb at the back of the truck, which they leave open for us to have a little air, we're sitting near the opening, and it carries nothing but a brand new SUV tied at the front and back with steel cables and held with logs around the wheels so it won't move. The truck takes off, and because of the many bumps and potholes, we're driving in the fucking desert, not on a road, everything in the truck jumps about 3 feet up and down, including us and the 2 tons SUV, it's jumping much higher than the holds, of course. I don't know if you've ever had a 2 ton giant object bouncing up and down 3 feet away from you, but it's fucking terrifying. So I start to panic. And for whatever stupid reason I decide I need to go at the front of the truck to knock on the driver's cabin and tell the guys driving that we're going to die very soon. I didn't think it through, I just felt very strongly that I had to do it, as I said, panic. So I get up and I start to move alongside the SUV to pass it. There was a space of about 2 feet on each side of the SUV, I would have been fucking crushed by that bouncing monster if not for the military guy who grabbed me by the arm, pulled so hard I fell, and yelled in my face don't move. Don't fucking move stay here don't move. That calmed me down, and I realized he had just saved my life. And we didn't die after all, even after the 1 inch thick steel cable on our side broke and started snaking in the air and hitting us hard, we had to protect ourselves with our backpacks. They finally stopped for a minute and just took out the cable, not even replacing it by a new one. I asked them how long they though it would take to get to the asphalt since there was very heavy dust coming inside the truck, to the point that it was getting really hard to breathe. Not to mention that every 5 seconds we would jump 3 feet in the air and get bruised when coming down. They told me it would be 1 hour half, so I was kind of relieved. It actually took 14 hours. In the end, I was seriously convinced that I had died and that hell was just reliving your last moment forever. And I'm a very rational person, it's just what exhaustion can do to you.